All right, now we're going to try and get some of these spots out of this carpet here. And um, this carpet's only three years old, but a tenant that lived here must have um, really done a number on it. Three years. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to try something new. Usually I use a little bit of Resolve and a carpet cleaner. Um, but today I'm going to try a little bit of a product called Zout, which I use on stains for clothing. Um, you can get it online and sometimes you can get it at Walmart. Uh, but I found that it works really well on clothing stains, so I'm going to try it here. Um, so let me get my stuff together and then I'll show you what I'm going to use. So here's the product. It's called Zout. It's a three action enzyme formula. Um, I picked this up at Walmart, but you can also buy it online. Sometimes it's hard to find at Walmart. I'm going to use a drill brush, just a brush I bought online. And my drill, power drill. I found that the power drill is a little better than a, um, a uh, battery operated drill, but you probably can use a battery operated drill as well. Um, so we're just going to focus on these stains right here initially. And um, I'm going to take this out and uh, spray some on it. Liberally spray it. Let's start with just this one area. Um, here's what the bottle says. Um, and I don't know if you can read that or not. Maybe you can pause and read it. Um, but it reads that uh, spray completely cover the stain. Rub in. Wait one to five minutes. Launder in warmest water. Of course, that is for fabric. Uh, if the states do stains do come out, uh, I will clean it with. I'll remove the chemical with um, the carpet cleaning machine, which is just a standard Hoover spin scrub carpet machine. I found that the spin scrub with the round brushes uh, works very well on carpet if you go over it a number of times you, you use spray liberally with resolve the bottle resolve not the concentrate resolve uh, and then just wash the carpet until it it uh, takes all the chemicals in the water out and let it dry so i'm going to pause now well actually instead of pausing i'll show you that how I get started. I'm just going to turn the drill on and I guess I got my outlet plugs turned off. Hold on a second. Yep, sure enough I had the power turned off at the outlets. Um, I've got that on now. My drill is turning and I'm just going to scrub it. that I'm gonna turn off I'm gonna turn my pause my phone a minute I'm gonna just scrub it for some time maybe spray a little bit more on and see if those stains are coming out so bear with me all right so with very little brushing I'd say maybe a minute and spraying it one more time um, it's hard to tell because I haven't extracted the chemical out of the carpet yet, but it appears as though the stains have disappeared. There's a little bit there. Um, and sometimes on these carpets, uh, the stains will go away and come back. I'm sure there's a, a reason why that happens but I don't know what it is. Um, 
I just, uh, it's hard to tell because sometimes the, the white foaming of the product hides the stain and then um, once the extractor goes over it a few times, it, uh, it comes back. I mean, the, the stain takes the chemical out, but it dries up. That same that stain comes back. I don't know if it absorbs back up through the padding uh, or what it is. Um, typically, when I have carpet installed in a apartment, they uh, I have them put a water sealer on the pad. I use the upgraded pad to uh, keep the water any water or you know unfortunately pet urine or anything like that out of the pad. So it's like a plastic layer on the pad that is waterproof. Um, but as of right now, I see a little staining right here still. There still is some staining there. Um, but this whole area where I sprayed the cleaner on looks a little cleaner than it did before. It's like a sh shade lighter. And perhaps that's just the way the sun is on it but I will once I hit all the spots run the carpet machine over it I still got some supplies in here I need to remove out of here but I'm hoping not have to replace all the carpet although they did a number on this carpet as you can see there's there's stains all over it so there you have it Zout um, seems to work pretty good on carpet and, uh, I'm not getting paid for this. I just, I, I found this product somehow, uh, for my clothes to get stains out of it. And it's a little bit hard to find now in the store. As soon as it goes on the shelf in Walmart or wherever they sell it, it seems to be, um, gra grabbed by everybody. I saw some at a Walmart and that's what I did. I grabbed four bottles. It was two or three dollars a bottle. This stuff's a miracle worker on clothes. And as you can see, for you know, probably three dollars, take me one bottle, get this carpet clean, maybe a couple bottles on the stains, and a lot of work. Um, but I might be able to save the carpet. It's only, like I said, it's only three years old, and it's got like particularly in the dining room it's got all these little stains it looks like kids juice boxes or something were spilled all over anyway i'll let you know i'll do a follow-up comment down below if you like the video um please uh press the like button below and make a comment um and this stuff does uh work pretty good um, I'm actually surprised in very little effort that those spots came out. Um, so I'm going to pause and try one more section, maybe this section over here, and see how that goes. And um, then I'll do a quick video to show you the follow-up, and um, that should give you a pretty good idea of the, the difference. So I should mention that this carpet was professionally cleaned twice. And I'm not sure what they use as far as chemicals, but both cleaners said they were unable to get the spots out, which um, I think may be true. Maybe these spots will come back. Um, I did this section here, just straight in here, where those spots were, you saw in the video a few seconds ago. Um, and a lot of the spot seemed to come out. You can still see there's some areas there that are discolored. I didn't do this area over here yet, or that far area over in there. Um, but I still see some spotting right in here. The area I did, I probably spent 60 seconds on it, so I didn't spend very long. 
I'm um, probably going to leave the chemical on there and uh, when I get a chance I'll come back with the, the carpet cleaner there and uh, run it over to pull the chemical out and I might even do a res you know resolve as well this carpet you know a couple bottles of resolve are 10 bucks and if I can get the carpet clean enough to make it look presentable it'll be cheaper than replacing the entire room and not having the carpet match the other rooms um, they didn't do as bad of a dirtiness job on the other room so I didn't want to replace the entire carpet uh, one of the other option I could do is put vinyl in here but then it won't match the vinyl we put in the kitchen so then you're looking at running vinyl between two rooms so um, there you have it I think that is a bit of an improvement um, again I didn't spend that much time on it and I haven't run the machine over it so it could possibly improve better and the other alternative is after it dries that the staining just comes back sometimes that happens as I said uh, if you have any questions uh, put a comment down below and uh, or a question down below and I will try and answer it um, as soon as possible have a good day and be sure to like my or follow my page if you like my video